It's an unusual school at an unusual location and run by an unusual teacher. 43-year-old Rajesh Kumar is a shopkeeper by profession but spends hours every morning teaching the 80-odd children from the poorest of the poor in the national capital. Disturbed by the sight of children playing at construction sites instead of attending school, his open-air classroom was born. Between pillars and beneath the track of the Delhi transit system, every few minutes the train passes above, the children unperturbed with its sounds. With no chairs or tables, the children sit on rolls of styrofoam, the wall painted black and used as a blackboard. Unnamed donors contribute to the books, bags and stationery of these children, and at times a treat. It's not a formal platform, but these free classes provide the foundation to children of the most deprived. It's most important to inspire these children to study and give them an opportunity of an education. I will be fortunate even if two out of the 20 study further. I will feel satisfied that I contributed to their future generations. Seventy-two-year-old Babu Lal lives on the edges of society. A menial farmer, he and ten of his family members eke out a living, growing vegetables on the floodplains of the river Yamuna. He barely makes ends meet, but sends his grandchildren to the school. I don't want them to be like me and illiterate. I am ashamed of it. They must read and write and make a better future for themselves. India has a dismal record in providing quality education to the millions of its children. A lack of infrastructure, poor quality of teachers and government negligence has resulted in a cumulative decline of education over the years. But it's efforts of individuals that want no one left out, though they are very few and far between. Neville Lazarus, Sky News, Delhi.